Last time out, we were humiliated in the last minute of our Champions League game against Rangers. Today, we go back to familiar territory when we play in the Caribou Cup quarterfinal. The only problem is, last time we played this team, we only managed to draw. <laughs> Welcome to episode 83 of Making Chelsea Stand Proud. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have for you that Caribou Cup quarterfinal game against Brighton, who we only managed to draw against uh, when we played them in the league uh, a few weeks back. Um, but today, we're hoping for a different story, because as you will, will know if you are an avid follower of this series, we have the Caribou Cup won it, should I say, for the last three seasons in a row we want to make it four because uh, this season we want to try and win as much as we possibly can including the premier league and talking about the premier league of course we will continue our premier league quest um this afternoon with a game against leeds united in the uh, uh premier league so uh, that's what's coming up uh since you were last with us we have played just one excuse me just one game that game against brighton um it was uh what it's brighton against leicester that's what I'm telling lies um a three nil win um it was uh sort of quite a fair really up until uh, a minute into injury time at the end of the first half kai Havitz getting up and uh getting us a one nil lead right on the strike of half time uh wesley fafana i think that possibly was from a corner and then Ken and Jewsbury Hall ran it off uh, on 90 minutes to make it a 3-0 win against Leicester. And uh, so the table looks something like this. Um, as you will see, we are top of the uh, table. 42 points, 4 points clear of Manchester City in second. And 12 points clear of Liverpool in third. So uh, it's at the moment is a two-horse race. And uh, as you'll see over here... The form that Manchester City are in um, is helping us somewhat. We've uh, won four of our last five, drawn the other one, uh, so we haven't lost in five. They've lost twice and drawn one, so they've only won two in their last five, which has given us that uh, little bit of a cushion at the top of the table, and we want to open that gap up even more as uh, we progress. Uh, today's opponent's leads are currently down in 16th place uh, with 18 points. They've drawn four four of their last five they haven't lost in five uh won their last game out uh so that will be an interesting match uh to do uh we are currently in mid december um so we're heading to the transfer window and all that goes with it um that's uh coming up uh don't think there's a lot else to tell you really uh, other than uh obviously we want to progress in this uh quarter final of the caribou cup we've played uh brighton seven times to date we haven't lost to them yet uh albeit last time out of course we did ma only manage a draw and uh, that was off the back of a uh champion league match in midweek as well which uh yeah didn't help us any um but up until then we have had quite a good record um at their place as well as at our place uh but uh today's different kettle of fish we want to progress we want to get through to the semi-finals of the caribou cup for the fourth season in a row because uh, that's the first bit of silverware in our sights let's go and see if we can do it and have a look at the team that will face brighton and this is the side that will face uh, brighton in this caribou cup and uh, hopefully we can go better than we did last time when uh, it was a draw. Maganin in goal then. Chilwell, Garcia, Fafana and Timber are defensive line. Rice and Savage in front of them. Uh, Kuman, Mount and Sterling sitting behind Havertz who leads the attack. Karnasechi, Cucurella, Fernandez, Tell, Kulabai, Dewsbury Hall, Barboza, Kovacic and Otavio on the bench for this one. 
And this is how the two sides line up. They are playing a 4 2 3 1. Very similar to ourselves. And confirmation of the two teams for you. First highlight, 11 minutes in, and it's Brighton with the ball. And Sterling steps in to win that ball. He's got uh, Savage, Kuman. Kuman gets it in. And uh, there's a question mark here. VAR is looking at it. Was it offside? I think was the question. I don't think he was because uh, he dropped the uh, defender. It is a goal. Sterling here. Lovely play. Back to Savage. He was onside when that ball was played. And he just got enough on it. Kuman the scorer. McAllister with a free kick. Swung in. Maganen saves it. And it's cleared. And no more highlights in that first half. We picked up three yellow cards, though, which isn't good. Uh, Fafana, Sterling and Rice all picking up yellow cards. Uh, ten shots, six on target. 1.26, 50% of the possession. They've had three shots, just the one on target, uh, which is the one that uh, Magnan saved. 0 0.06 on the old XG. Uh, positive first half. We do need to uh, just uh, keep keep working and make inroads in the second half and open a little bit of a cushion for ourselves. First highlight of the second half, 52 minutes on the clock. It's cleared back out. Chilwell getting rid of that ball, but it's uh, Brighton still with the ball. I just realised we're still on attacking mode. Ings will come back off the woodwork. Oh, my goodness me. That nearly became bizarre. Cleared it back across, uh, and with 56 minutes on the clock, uh, we're making one change. Declan Rice, he's uh, he's having a mediocre game. He's picked up a yellow card. Uh, he's on a 6.5, so we've replaced him with uh, Dewsbury Hall. Sanchez with a goal kick on 66 minutes. Kuman down, trying to get through there, but uh, didn't quite come off. Sanchez again. Comes out of his area, lumps one well forward, chill well underneath it. Timber down to Fafana. Fafana finds Sterling. And we come forward. Sterling holds on to the ball. Savage, but he's given the ball up. Well, he didn't give the ball away, but uh, it was given away. Trossard, cross it in. Oh, dear. And our bad day uh, has got the equaliser on 67 minutes, 68 minutes. And we were undone here. Out to Trossard. He shot that ball in. No defenders getting there. And uh, Abad uh, is the scorer. And with 75 on the clock, we're making a few more changes. Then um, we have taken off uh, Ben Chilwell, the usual change. Mark Cucurella comes on for him. Uh, we've also taken off Timber on the right-hand side of defence. He's uh, tiring very quickly. Uh, Garcia moving out there. Kulabai coming on uh, for Garcia in central defence. And then we have also taken off um, Mason Mount. Not having a good day. Havits drops back into that attacking playmaker role. Rodrigo comes in on uh, attack. And uh, we need to be looking for that goal that could give us uh, our through. Otherwise, if it's 1-1 uh, at full time, it's penalties. And uh, Brighton with a free kick. And Sterling steps in and wins that ball. He's lacking a bit of support. He's been tackled by Williams. Williams has another go at him. Sterling still holds the ball. What's he going to do here? He has a shot. He's been bobbled around. And Savage with the goal kick. And Rodrigo winning that ball. Rodrigo finds Kuman. We're in space here, Kuman, and it's uh, Habits as that attacking playmaker who gets the goal. 81 minutes on the clock. It's a 2-1 lead. A slight change in formation. Habits likes dropping back there sometimes. That lovely through ball to Kuman. Kuman had Habits on the inside of him. Habits just rolled it in. 
And the Habits put it away. Sorry, Kuman rolled it in. Habits put it away. And with 84 minutes on the clock, making a final change. Savic is off. He's had a good game, but he's getting tired. And we've brought on Fernandez in his place. And we have another highlight. Kuman, Garcia. Garcia crosses the ball in, but nobody there. And it's been cleared out into touch. And it's all over. It's a 2-1 win. Very tight affair. And uh, there was times when we looked to like we might struggle. But we've uh, ended up getting the result. A good game from Kingsley Kuman. Um, four key passes. Three clear-cut chances created. Uh, one assist, uh, which was the second goal. And a goal. He's had a player of the match and done very, very, very well. Uh, didn't play to full potential today. Yet again, 16 shots, 9 on target, 1.90, 54% of the possession against their 8 shots, 4 on target, 0.72, 46% of the possession. But we are through to the semi-final, which means we have a semi-final draw coming up. And so we have the draw for the uh, semi-finals of the Caribou Cup. Uh, but before we do that, let's see who's in the pot. Manchester United still have to play Leicester in their uh, quarter-final. Um, the other games are uh, two championship sides, one of which have gone through, of course. Birmingham, the uh, <clears throat> lowest side now, is still in the competition uh, ourselves. Um, and then Brentford, who beat Everton by three goals to one. So let's have a look at the draw then for the uh, Caribou Cup semi-final. And we get it underway. Just, I say four teams. There's five teams in the pot, of course. Uh, but uh, it depends on the Manchester United Leicester. They will know who they're going to play in the semi-final before we get there. Birmingham first out then. Birmingham of the Championship will play... Brentford. So we've got Manchester United or Leicester in the semi final. And there is confirmation of that. Confirmation of the draw for the Caribou Cup. Brentford and Birmingham and ourselves either against Manchester United or Leicester. Manchester United past meetings, of course, been. Bit sort of mixed, really. We've not done too badly against them in recent times. Played them in the quarter final of this uh, competition a couple of seasons ago, and uh, in on that occasion, it was a three-three draw. That uh, of course uh, will be played at Wembley, being the semi-final. The other team that we could play is Leicester. Beat them three-nil recently. Uh, past meetings against them has also been very good. Did lose a couple of games to them here back in the 23-24 uh, season. Uh, but uh, since then, we seem to be on a reasonable run against them. Let's hope it continues. I have played them in the semi-final of the Caribou Cup uh, last season, as it was. Is it going to be a repeat, a 2-2 draw? In fact, I say it's going to be at Wembley. It's not going to be Wembley. It's a game uh, in either place, of course. Um, so 2-2 draw at uh, the King Power and uh, beat them 4-1 at Stamford Bridge. So uh, is that going to be a repeat? We'll find out in due course. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to have our second game of the episode. It's a Premier League game against Leeds United. Leeds United, we've played them four times in this series so far. Lost once, uh, but in the last three occasions that we've played against them, we have beat them 4 uh, but has beat them f on the three occasions uh, without conceding a goal, I know. Um, Stamford Bridge, uh, we have beaten them 4-0 uh, in twice. The last time we played them at Elland Road, uh, we beat them 2-0. That was uh, back in February. Um, I think they've been down since then. Uh, where are we? 25. So, yeah. Um, today's match, of course, is at Stamford Bridge. And uh, our history there, of course, uh, against them is fairly good. Beating them both times uh, that we've played them at Stamford Bridge. Let's hope for a repeat today to keep up the pressure at the top of the table because uh, games have been played and Manchester City, having won their game against Newcastle, have closed the gap to one point. So we need to open it back up to four points. And 
And this is the side that will face Leeds in this uh, Premier League game. Um, actually, I did uh, check to see if I have a quick look at my uh, notes here. It's match day 18, so we're virtually halfway through the Premier League season. Um, so uh, in goal then, Maganen, uh, Chilwell, Rice, Fafana and Timber. Uh, Rice, of course, uh, filling in the back there because Kulabai is uh, coming back from injury. Uh, one other notable thing uh, um, of an injury, of course, is uh, Kingsley Kuman. He picked up an injury in training. He's going to be out uh, for about three weeks um, because of that injury, which is bad news because he played very, very well in the last game against Brighton. Um, and also Reese James, he's still uh, a couple of weeks away. Of course, uh, that's why Timber's playing out. Uh, Timber can play in central midfield and had been up until um, uh, Reese James uh, picking up that uh, long-term injury. He's been out for some time now. Be good to have him back in the side. Uh, so that's the uh, defensive line. Uh, Kova Kitchen Kante playing in central midfield today. Uh, Sterling Mount and Otavio in front of them because Kuman's injured. Uh, Habits continues up front. And then on the bunch, can Karnasechi, Cucurella, uh, Savic, Rodrigo, Kulabai, Fernandez, Tell, Garcia, and Dewsbury Hall. And this is how the two sides line up. Um, Barry, uh, Brian Barry Murphy is the manager at Leeds in this sphere. Uh, they uh, have a team that looks like this. Fernandez in goal. Uh, Mitchell, Dan Byrne, Kosh and Haitbor are the defence. Uh, Partey is the defensive midfielder. Bates and Aronson in front of him. Sinestra and Brooks are the wide players sitting behind a uh, Julian Alvarez. On the bench, they have uh, St uh, Stolarski, uh, a target, a Belenk, uh, Gonoto, Longstaff, Matip, Creswell, Johnson, and McLaughlin. And confirmation of the two teams for you. And we have a highlight from kickoff. Leeds getting us underway. Long ball out wide. Brooks cut inside, but Kovacic tracking back to Magnan. Rice, Kovacic back to Magnan. Rice, Kovacic. Mount, Sterling finds Habits inside. Back to Sterling. Sterling, Kovacic through to Otavio. He's come back off the woodwork. May have been offside as well. Haitboer to Kosh Burn. Cross it for Mitchell. And uh, Leeds coming forward again. Inside to Sinestra. Crossed into the area. Mitchell has a go. It's tidied up. It's gone in. And Alvarez getting a uh, touch on that. Puts it past Magnan. Five minutes on the clock. See it again. Mitchell to Sylvester. Cross it in. Alvarez out. Mitchell. Swung in and uh, Alvarez just getting a slightest of touches on it. Um, I think that was an Aronson goal, to be honest. Alvarez claiming it, though. And you come back, highlight Timber to Otavio. Otavio crosses it. It's headed sort of away. Timber gets it back on and crosses it, looking for Sterling. Chilwell. It's a poor ball from Chilwell, but he's trapped back and uh, won it. Declan Rice. Kante out to Chilwell. Chilwell. He's uh, got Kovacic there. And that's poor. Kovacic half-heartedly. And they come away again. Alvarez. And uh, we need to be careful. Oh, that's a poor ball. Havitz is in. Havitz puts it away. What a poor back pass. Didn't see Havitz. 28th goal of the season. It's 1-1 after eight minutes, I think. Alvarez, the scorer of the goal. Poor back pass. Didn't see Habits. It was a lovely pass for Habits. He just went round the goalkeeper and rolled it in the back of the net. 1-1. One, one. Alvarez gets us underway. Highlight from kickoff. It's all happening here. Fafana in defence. Fafana comes forward. Looking for Habits again. Habits gets his second. Offside. Free kick to Leeds. And 
and uh, have it stepping in, winning that ball. Have it's having a great game. Mount, Mount tries to get a shot away, but it's deflected. It's blocked and deflected. Magnan to Rice. Rice finds Kovacic. Chilwell, Rice, Fafana. Fafana. I just get deep suspicion that this game has got some bizarre things happening in it, which is a bit of a worry. Uh, Timber stepping in and winning that ball. Otavio back to Timber. Timber finds Otavio. Otavio puts it into the area and uh, a penalty call there. Who was it was failed? It wasn't Havitz. It was Mason Mount that was tripped on the edge of the area. VAR looking at it. And it is a penalty. Now then, do we get the opportunity here? Because Mason Mount hasn't been that good in recent times. It is Mount going to take it. Missed the penalty against Brighton. Of course, he's put that away in the corner, though. And it's 2-1 after 26. He's fourth goal of the season. Mason Mount, not as prolific as he was. But uh, he's put that away. Goalkeeper picking the right side, but he put it far enough away from him. Free kick, Alvarez has a go. Magnan over the top. And half time comes. Ten shots. We've just had two on target, which isn't good. 2.02, 54% 2 of the possession. Leeds have had five shots, one of which have been on target. 0.39, 46% of the possession. Um, we need to be a little bit better at hitting the target in the second half, I think. First highlight. It's a corner for Leeds. Alvarez, it's hit it clear. But Astronic, why are you giving him space? Don't give a penalty away. Sterling, Mount, back to Chilwell, Kovacic. And we break out now. Sterling on the counter-attack. Chilwell, Chilwell to Rice. Kovacic, lovely feet by Kovacic to Mount. And Mount back to Fafana. Fafana goes out wide now to Otavio. Inside to Timber. Timber through to Otavio. Oh, he's hit the woodwork. Corner, Mount with the corner, swings it in. Oh, that was headed on. We'll go back and watch that because uh, that was quite good. Um, I think it's, is it for Fana? It's for Fana here, heads it on. Habits didn't quite connect with it at the back post. He was onside when that ball's flicked on and Habits just miss it. And with 65 minutes on the clock, making one change. Rodrigo comes on for Otavio, who's not having a good game. And uh, we've taken him off. So Otavio is off. And uh, it's all gone wrong now. There we go. Otavio is off. Rodrigo on. Sterling switches to the right. Rodrigo comes on on the left. And uh, in the ball again. Kovacic to Declan Rice. Kante back to Rice. Rice long wide ball sterling out that side there now he cuts it inside to timber off just over the top and with nearly 70 minutes on the clock making a couple more changes ben chilwell off uh the usual change mark cucarella on for him makes a mount coming off habits dropping into that attacking playmaker role mateus tell on for mount and he's uh taken up the attack for the time being Cucurella with a throw in on this near side. It's a long throw looking for Havitz. Havitz hands down to Sterling. Kante, Sterling. I think Kante should have had a shot really for Farner. Still alive. Rice finds Kovacic. Kovacic looking for space. Couldn't find it. Cross it in. Oh, it's bobbling around. Kante. And he's lost the ball now. Alvarez comes away. Kante with the highlights. Inside to Timber. Timber's poor ball. And uh, it's cut out. Kovacic heading that down to Rodrigo. Tell. Tell wins the ball back. Tell. He scored. His fourth goal of the season. 3-1. That's better. Bit more of a cushion. And uh, Tell didn't let up there. Rodrigo. Rodrigo to Tell. Tell is a poor pass. Trying to get a 1-2 going with Rodrigo. But he won the ball back. And then planted it in the back of the net. 
And with uh, 87 minutes on the clock, making the final two changes, Yaren Timber comes off. Eric Garcia comes on in that wing-back position on the right side. And uh, Kante, who's had a, a splendid game. In fact, Timber's had a good game as well. Uh, Kante has come off, and we've brought on uh, Milenkovic Savic. No more highlights. It's all over, and... Uh, we have won the game three goals to one. A bit co more comfortable than it realistically looked. Uh, Havitz after eight. Mason Mount from the penalty spot after 26. Uh, Mateus Tell after 86. Uh, that was all after Alvarez getting uh, the equaliser. Uh, sorry, getting that leads in front after five minutes. Uh, 26 shots, seven on target, 3.75. 59% of the possession against uh, Leeds. Seven shots, two on target, 0.51, 41% of the possession. Um, it, we That gap at the top of the table should be back to four points. And confirmation of that uh, win and that four-point gap at the top of the table. The other thing to note is look at our goal difference. 31 against uh, Manchester City, 17 as it currently stands. Uh, Liverpool did play earlier. Um, and they only managed a 2-2 draw, which means that uh, the gap now between us and them has opened up to 14 points um, down to third place. So, as I said, it is a two-horse race, and uh, hopefully at some point or other we get the opportunity to open a bit more of a gap up there because one slip up and uh, Manchester City are back in. Nine unbeaten in the Premier League now, which is uh, good stuff. Uh, as it happens. Uh, right, we have Middlesbrough back to back over the Christmas uh, New Year period. Play them on the 23rd and on the uh, Boxing Day on the 26th. Away first and then home. We're going to play them away. Going to come back from Middlesbrough and Sheffield United um, in the next episode. Uh, we'll then play Aston Villa. We're going to come back for the uh, first leg of the uh, semi uh, Caribou Cup semi final. Uh, so a cup uh, episode, semi final, first leg. Uh, then we have the uh, FA Cup third round, and then uh, we'll uh, come back for the second leg of the uh, Caribou Cup, see if we can get into the final. Uh, and then, of course, we have Tottenham in the Premier League. It's all back-to-back -back episodes for a little bit. Uh, Freiburg and Manchester City in the episode after that, and then Stuttgart and Norwich. Uh, we'll uh, see us through and then uh, see what's coming up after that. Won't we just... Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification button. That will keep you up to date with everything that's happening here on this channel. Uh, of course, our uh, this series, and uh, To Be A Legend, and any new series that follows this one, um, and it will keep you up to date as they are released. Um, if you want to keep up to date what's happening, realistically, the best way of doing it is to follow me on Twitter, at Just Offside 2 um, new episodes of Making Chelsea Stand Proud currently released every Tuesday and Friday at 4.15pm. We will be back on Friday for episode 84. It's going to be Middlesbrough and Sheffield United, two Premier League games. Can we open a bit of gap at the top of the table around Christmas? A nice Christmas present it would be too. Till then, I wish you a very good bye. Bye-bye.